Hey everybody, welcome to the end of the internet. Uh, as always, I'm Xander, and today's episode, we're going to be talking about the most recent episode of The Flash to air, um, The Flash of Two Worlds. Uh, this was, ep this is episode three, um, and right now, spoiler warnings, uh, if you haven't seen it, pause this video, go check it out, um, and then come back and watch this, uh, because, okay, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff happening in this one, uh, but, you know, spoilers, um, so anyways, The Flash of Two Worlds sets up, is, first off, a reference to, uh, the first issue of The Flash where he meets, he, uh, not the first, first it, but, uh, an issue of The Flash where he meets Jay Garrick. Uh, Barry Allen breaks the dimensional barrier and goes to another Earth and meets the Flash of that world. And that comic was called A Flash of Two Worlds. Um, and so at the end of the last episode, mysterious man named Jay Garrick comes to the Flash team and is like, I need to help you. Uh, so he explains more about what's going on, how he's uh, the Flash from an alternate reality and he was fighting his enemy called Zoom, another speed force user um, who when the singularity opened up that Barry caused at the end of the last season. Um, and Jay gets pulled through. Uh, so he, he, they find out he's been following him for like six months. Knows all sorts of stuff about him. Uh, which kind of pisses him off. Barry's a real dick to him through the entire episode, like, just like, locking him up in the cage and all, like, he's a douche to Jay. But he gets better. Um, Iris slaps him around verbally and makes him realize he's being an asshole and he stops. Um, so the main villain for this episode was someone called Sand Demon. Um, he can turn to sand, think Sandman from Marvel Universe and Spider-Man. Kind of a rip-off, but okay, whatever, cool power. Um, so he's been brought to, by, to this reality by Zoom. Uh, who now has decided he wants to kill, you know, Barry as well, because he, like, has a hate on for s other people with speed power, so Zoom, that's Zoom's thing, is wipe out all other people with speed power, so he's the fastest. Um, so, he's, br he's the one bringing these people from other worlds to bury to fight to try killing uh, and Jay Garrick has encountered speed de or sand demon from his world uh, so he knows how to, he's like I know how to fight him I, I let me help you and Barry's like still being a dick and he's like no lock him up we can't trust him. Well, everybody else in the team is like, dude, d d he's on. The, he seems to be on the level. Um, Cisco and Stein are working on some way to close the portals that people are. These people are coming through. Um, and Cisco has another one of his little visions, which uh, pretty much leads to them finding Sand Demon. Uh, 
and Stein finally figures out too that Cisco something's up, and Cisco reveals that he has this these visions ever since Wells killed him in the alternate timeline. Uh, but he doesn't want anyone else to know about these powers because uh, he thinks they might be evil or something. It's like, no, dude, you're a accelerator freak like everybody else on the show. Uh, um, and we get introduced to a new character, um, a cute, nerdy cop girl uh, named Patty Stivic, I think her name, last name, yeah, Stivic. Uh, she and she wants to be on Joe's team of metahuman task force thing, you know. Um, and Joe's like, no, just no. Um, she has a couple of really cute scenes with Barry. I, I don't know. I think they're going to be trying to set up as a like relationship for Barry with her, but I don't know. I think there's something else with her. I think she's going to have powers or something. Let me know in the comments below if there is, like, a character that she could possibly be based off of from the comics. Um, but, yeah, they, they she flirts with him, and it, she reveals that her dad was killed by uh, the Morton brothers from season one, the guys that got weather powers. Um... So, that that's her reasoning, but, I don't know, she seems, there's something else with her. I'm willing to put money on that she's going to be a meteor, or not meteor, free, <laughs> wrong show, um, be a, a accelerator freak, metahuman, um, Yeah, really, it, the episode was decent. Uh, Barry learns a new power from Jay, uh, who, for some reason, Jay doesn't have his speed ability, uh, which I'm sure they'll fix at some point. It, uh, maybe, maybe it's because he's not in his universe and or something. I don't know. Uh, but he teaches Barry how to do a new power, uh, to throw lightning from his speed trail. So he, like, gathers it, throws it. It's kind of cool upgrade. Like, it's not bad. I, I don't hate it. Um, the Sand Demon has kidnapped Patty, of course, because, duh. Need somebody, um, and so Jay and Flash team up to well the Flashes team up and to go they hatch a plan and they stop him uh, save Patty. We get a nice little image. Uh, they they recreate this cover of the comic that uh, of the Flash of Two Worlds. So, it was nice, cute little homage. Um, Joe, at the end of the episode, Joe, uh, we, we finally get to meet Joe's wife. Uh, which I honestly didn't even realize, like, I don't know if I just missed it in the first season. I thought she was dead. Um... Like, but yeah, she's alive and she wants to talk to Joe. Um, Stein, like, seizes out or something, and I don't know, I think it has something to do with Firestorm. Like, it's going to reveal that, that, and that pretty much says where uh, Ronnie is. He's in an alternate reality, has to be. Stein will get brought, and Stein needs him probably, like, I figured next episode or two, Ronnie will be back. We know he will, because Legends of Tomorrow. 
Um, yeah, the only other, the last thing that happened in the episode was uh, we see an alternate reality uh, where Harrison Wells is still alive. Now, of course, he comes out and he looks shady. Like he he gives the this little evil, secretly evil look, but I don't know. Is it the same Harrison Well, because technically the person that we know as Harrison Wells wasn't Harrison Wells. It was Eobard Thawne that just looking like Harrison Wells. This would be Harrison Wells the original Harrison Wells from that Eobard killed. Is he evil? Is he good? We don't know. I I figure he's going to turn out to be good. They just want to trick the audience. Um, but it's nice to see Tom Cavanaugh back. I loved his performance in that show, in Flash. He's great as Wells. So, um, yeah, the next episode, uh, we'll be back with the recap of it. Um, so, thanks for watching, and we'll... See you back in a flash.